Yo, what's up everybody? It's your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage, here to bring you a message. Excuse the um, the noise in the background, it's the dishwasher going. Cleanliness is next to godliness, is what I just heard. <laughs> Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload, you feel me? And so, um, let's get some thanks to my dad, the Most High God, for bringing us here uh, to be divine to change, to allow change to happen for us, to giving us an opportunity to change, you feel me? For evolution, you know, it's it's just a very, there are so many, you know, I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you a little secret. Earlier, I saw some thing, I saw something and it pissed me off. Y'all yeah, have seen me pissed off before. If you haven't, I'm, I, I'm not gonna encourage you to go back and take a look at some old videos, but you could if you, you know, want to do a little bit of research on your Uncle 7-9 here. But I saw something earlier that totally pissed me off. So I had to take me a, a step back. You feel me? Because, you know, a lot, of, a lot of what I've been through has been uh, a lot of people attacking me, institutions attacking me, AI bots attacking me. It is always something coming at me. And not to be, I'm not playing victim. I'm just telling you what happens. I'm never a victim as long as I got God. You feel me? That's what I know. That's what, that's what these adversaries didn't believe. Or who they didn't believe in, more or less. Yeah, that's what I heard. I love you, baby. So. <laughs> um. And so, yeah, I, so I'm coming on here this evening because, well, let me just give you, it's 5.36 p.m. on February 24th, February 24th, something could be happening on February 24th, but February 4th, 2024, it is 36 degrees Fahrenheit and clear, I mean, it's, I think, I think something's wrong with the, um, with the little, whatchamacallit down there, yeah, the little, the little, the little thermometer or whatever, the temperature gauge, it's been 36 degrees since this morning, somebody lying, again. Somebody lying. And that's what I saw earlier. And so, you know, um, going on this mission, this journey, um, I'll tell you that a lot of what I um, have been able... Hold on, my hands is dry as hell. Hold on. Okay, 244 as I come back. <sighs> that's an angel number. Let's look it up. But as I was saying, though, I um, along this journey, I'll tell you that there are times that... Um, I have been it means d directing your thoughts to something worth your efforts come through Holy Spirit and the confirmation in the back you feel me mm -hmm. so be clean in your in your deal as it will have an impact on your destiny to realize something crucial in your life you have to recall good things that have to happen in your life come through Holy Spirit that was a message because I'm telling you now I had I had to take a step back and say what do you do at this moment? You know, do you clap back? Do you respond? Do you get bent out of shape? No, 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 no. Because if, you, if along this journey, what we realize is that uh, the enemy is always going to try to distract us. The enemy will always try to take us off of our directed path. That's his job. That's the job of these minions. And so, yeah, sometimes you do got to put your foot down and be like, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I need to I need to I need you to meet me around back. Okay? Where there are no cameras. Okay? Where there are no keyboards. Where there's no www. You feel me? But I'll tell you what, humility has been my biggest uh not weapon, my biggest tool, my biggest uh Possession, my, my most valuable possession throughout this journey is humility and courage, of course. But courage is something that comes from being humble. Humility. And so what I'm learning today, what I've learned, but what is so evident to me today is that uh, people's, uh, people's lack of humility is the reason why they are about to take a heavy fall, a hard as fall. I mean, like a cartoon fall, you know, when a cartoon falls off of a, a building and they just smash, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? That's what I've learned. 
and the moment that and the moment that you step out of uh, being humble, the moment that you go back into e your ego because people want you to, is the moment that you're about to take a fall too. It may not be as bad as their fall, but you're going to take some type of fall. You're going to lose something in the process. It could be a little bit of respect for yourself or respect from others. It could be a little bit of the truth, lying to yourself, or people uh, thinking that you're a damn lie. Okay. But humility is a very big thing. So I said all that to say in the beginning of this message, practice humility, practice gratitude to the most high, practice gratitude to the people around you that have pushed you forward, that have encouraged you, that have cheered you on, that have supported you. Show some gratitude and show some gratitude for yourself. You know, a lot of times we don't give ourselves the pat on the back. You know, it's dangerous to always seek other people to do that for you. That's where that that feeds your ego. Then you become then you then you then you don't become then you lose your humility. You become a bit egotistical. You in a sense you feel like you become when people are always praising you. Um, they're always telling you always need the approval of other people. You you know what you what before you realize that you either you either understand the fact well, what people understand, what I've seen, is that it can manifest itself in some very ugly ways. Because then, when people don't give you that constant pat on the back, you know the you know the, the, the applause, the parade, the cartwheels and things, you then feel like you're not doing good enough, or without people's validation, you're not doing something right, or you or or without people's validation, you can't live. That's what success means to a lot of people, receiving validation from people instead of getting validation from the most high. It can also manifest itself in, in, a, in, a, in a very uh, unhealthy factor when a person feels like they are God. Okay? They, 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 they make themselves into, they become a God who becomes a tyrant, who becomes a false prophet even. A false God. You know? Hmm. So don't lose sight of being humble. Always show gratitude to the Most High. Always give thanks and praises to the people that have helped you. For the people that have cheered you along, your cheerleaders along the way. You feel me? So I'd like to thank my ancestors, 5D and 3D, my spirit guides and spirit teams. I appreciate you and I love you. New subscribers, current subscribers and OGs, I appreciate you as well. Anybody that showed any love to me, I appreciate it. The financial contributions made to me and my channel, me and the cats, appreciate it. I give some love to my cats. You feel me? So let's get on with this. You want some readings? You want a reading? Oh, and by the way, too, I'm going to be MIA for probably a few days. I don't know. I'm not going to say a few. I'm not going to put a time limit on it. But this time I mean it. Usually I say that and then I, and I come back like an hour an hour later because I be getting the downloads. But I, you know, I've, I've given a lot to this channel. And, I, and, and like I said, I originally came on here because justice, I was seeking justice. I was seeking uh, for the truth to be heard, not just for myself, but for other people, you know, creating change for myself, creating change for, it create, create, has created. And I know that it has created change for other people. And I keep getting the message that the most high is telling me, whatever you came to do on this channel, son, it's already done. You may not see it yet, but you better believe it's coming. Okay? So I am very, I, I, I like to consider myself obedient. And what I've been hearing from the Most High and from my spirit guides is that I need to take, I just need to have a seat. Take it all in. Do some reflections. Uh, figure out a better way to do what I do. And, I, and I, it's in the works. I'll be back to tell you. But overall, uh, this whole situation on YouTube with these people if that's what I even want to call them you know the shadow banning the negative energy I have to clean that out because I, I'm on here every single day which means even though I don't let it I don't I let it affect me in, in, in the way that it's intended I'm still pro constantly processing negative energies from the energy I put out there to only help people and unfortunately, the vast majority of the people that tune into my channel are people that are coming to hate. They're coming to dislike videos because for whatever reason, they think that's going to slow down their karma. 
Uh, but I also would like to remind people that are out there disliking videos, not just mine, but other people's when the truth is being spoken. You're trying to slow down your karma. You're actually making it worse. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you're not showing humility. You're not showing any type of forgiveness or remorse for the things that you've done. And every time you dislike a video or post a nasty comment or report a video because it's telling the truth about the things that you've done to other people that are, in a, that are demonic and evil and ugly, you're telling the universe, I'm never going to apologize for this. I feel, I, I, I feel that I, what I've done is right. The way that I have hurt somebody, confirmation. The way that I have hurt somebody that is dishonest and nasty and ugly and fucking filthy as I've been. It's wrong for them to even talk about anything that I've done to them. How dare them? I'm not apologizing for anything. I don't feel sorry for what I've done. And you probably don't, which is the reason why every time you dislike a video where it's about something positive and it tells the truth about your funky ass, you tell the universe your funky ass is ready for even more shitty shit to fall on your head. And God, <laughs> Godspeed. You feel me? Scabs. And I meant that. I, I mean every damn thing I say. But I mean that. The nerve of these people. Okay? To me it's to me it's the most to me it's the most um You know, i I just I just had a I just had a, a vision of narcissists. You know, uh, the, 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 the 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 Greek the, the Greek mythology story about narcissists, the most beautiful boy in the village who who glared at his reflection all day. And then he fell in, trying to, I think, trying to kiss himself or give himself a hug. I don't know. Whatever happened. He drowned because of his obsession with his beauty. <laughs> Let me tell you something about these, narciss these narcissistic people. These people aren't really narcissistic. Not like that anyway. And I'll tell you what. The reason why they haven't drowned is because they know they're not that damn pretty. Okay. They know that they're not that damn beautiful. They're not that damn beautiful on the outside and the inside. Because I'll tell you what, what's in the outside radiates through the outside all the time. Okay? They they look at their reflection in the in the water and then they go, I don't even like that. I don't even like what I see. So then what do they do? They want to be like you. They want to be like me. They want to talk about you. They want to talk about me. They want to bash you. Then they want to bash me. So that we feel as ugly as they do. Okay, that's why hey, we keep asking, what are they doing still around here? Why haven't they taken themselves out? Why aren't they? Why haven't they not taken themselves out like that? Okay, let's let's let's. But why are they still here? You know what I'm saying? Because they're running away from who they are. They can't even look at themselves. So they would much rather that we continue to keep looking at them. And I'll tell you what the 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 the, 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 the solution to that problem is: stop watching, listening to. Uh, g coming into contact with laying up with these people sharing your love and light with these people stop doing it then they just decay because they don't have anything else to feed off of you know what they say about feeding monkeys at your fence there will be a monkey at your fence every damn day and then all the rest of their friends come too you feel me so that's a sweetheart in the reverse somebody who's not a sweetheart and we got one card left in the deck we're not, we're, not, we're not taking that. Okay? That was a mistake. But it was scholar in the reverse of a sweetheart who hasn't learned a damn thing. Who you can't learn anything from. You just can't. That's what I heard. A sweetheart could be somebody that's very hateful. Or somebody that doesn't know what love is or has never or is not loving to others. A sweetheart is somebody like me. No, I'm just kidding. No, but dead ass though. It's somebody who is sweet somebody who loves people who loves to love people who's nice to people and, and don't and, and does not expect anything in return maybe we expect i do expect a level of kindness back you know that you send back my way or respect but oftentimes we don't even get that but that still doesn't stop us or it shouldn't the enemy would like for you to become a, become become a bitter ass bitch instead of being a sweetheart okay okay take that energy as it resonates So let's see. What else we got here? What is this about this sweetheart in reverse? What about the sweetheart in reverse? Sweetheart in reverse. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? No. What? 
love. We got sweetheart in the reverse and then love. What does this mean? I think I know what this means. First you're sour, then you're sweet. <laughs> Fucking Sour Patch Kids, okay? Sour Patch face ass niggas. First they're sour, then they're sweet. That could be you. At least, at least, but this is what I'm picking up on is a very a sweetheart who's not sweet. A sweet a somebody who pretends to be sweet, who really truly loves. So let's see where this goes, okay? This is this this could also be somebody experiencing a humbling experience. Somebody's been humbled. Somebody's been humbled. Come through Holy Spirit, maybe. Maybe somebody didn't like your ass. Now they love your ass. Not in that way either. You feel me? Yeah, somebody wants to come. Maybe somebody got left out in the cold. Maybe not. Yeah, listen. Somebody got a tarot reading done in your ass. Mm-hmm. Somebody got a tarot reading. I'm hearing a little bit of humility goes a long way. Okay. I'm hearing Cupid by 112. We got Cupid. We got the little cherub in there. Little fat baby with the arrows. That's that's Cupid. We got two dove or two dove. Well, those are like some big ass eagles. Or two swans. But swans do swans fly. Yeah, swans fly. They do. They mean as hell. Again. But two doves. Let's say two doves up there. You're two love birds. Two love birds. So somebody's pretending like they don't like you. But they truly love you. Come through, Holy Spirit. They just got humbled. They got this terror reading on your ass, though. They want to come out from out in the cold. Yeah. You could be defensive. This person could very be defend be very be a, very much offensive. Yeah, they're defensive because they think that you're gonna reject their advances. That's what that means. The three of staff, the three of staffs. The three of staffs in the reverse. Okay? You got the nine, you got the nine of wands, the nine of staffs to the three of staffs. In the reverse. Well, one of them's in the reverse. They're they're on guard. This person doesn't know what to do. That's why that's why you're I'm telling you how this is this is they're falling. That's why they're like they're they're trying to act like they don't like you. This lady got a note in her hand. She somebody wants to give you a note, but they're afraid. They want to pass a message to you about how much they love you, but they're afraid. Uh, be, but check it out. The truth of the matter is that this person wants to have a. This person wants to have a, a brand new passionate beginning with you. You are the sunshine of their life. Uh, you are the sunshine. Ain't no sunshine when you're gone. Is what I just heard. That Stevie Wonder song. I've been hearing that Stevie Wonder song. Uh, you are the sunshine of my life. I can't. Mm -hmm. You are the sunshine of my life. That's not even how it goes. I don't know, but either way it goes. The truth of the, the truth and clarity. Truth and clarity in this situation. This person, the truth that they got from this tale reading is that you are their wish fulfillment. You are everything that they could ever hope for, and they love you. Okay, but they're afraid to talk to you because they fear you a tad bit you're intimidating to this person this is the queen of stats we could be talking about a masculine it doesn't have to be it could be well it could be a feminine operating her masculine energy or, or blah 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 blah. we know how this goes take the energy as it resonates because this love does not have a gender okay that's the truth Ruth. but you're the queen of sword you're the queen of staffs you're powerful you're sexy you got your legs crossed in this car so you're not even a slut okay this gives me blanche from the golden girls without the sex Okay, but you're but they they're intimidated. They you you they might think that you're very beautiful, but they also know that you're powerful. You don't play that shit. Okay, you see that you see that lion right there, that lioness right next to her. Yeah, it's high kind of hiding but peeking out. They're afraid of that power that you have. That they love it too, but they're afraid to come and talk to you. They're afraid to talk to you. Okay. Yeah, definitely. There goes your match. I'm trying to tell you that this is your this is your match. Okay? We got the seven of staffs. This person, um, you kind of make this person weak. This person probably I, I just heard this person stutters when they talk about you. You make them nervous. But the seven of the staffs talks about an upright, talks about having the higher ground. They know that you have the upper hand in this situation. 
Mm-hmm. They're not used to you see how he's sitting. He's like, what the fuck? Did, what is? What did she say? <laughs> like they can't believe how they feel. Look at him. He's like, ah, oh, hell no, hell no. You feel me? That's what I'm picking up on. Red can be very significant. The color I got it on too. I, I just threw this on for whatever reason, really. But overall, what I'm picking up on is the fact that this person knows that they can't do you like they've done. If they don't have the upper hand when it comes to you. I'm trying to tell you, they need help coming out their head. They definitely do. They went. They, they were heavily burdened. They were heavily burdened. But now they're not. Now they're not. Now they 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 they, they got some psychic help. See, there we go again. I can't I can't make it up. They got. They went to an experienced tell reader, maybe a friend or a family member. I'm hearing a a family member and a friend. I'm hearing they went to a family member and a friend. They got a tell reading done. They even paid for one. Is what I just heard. Yep, and whatever they heard in that tarot reading humbled their ass and they came out of their head about some shit and it, and, and, and it took a heavy, it released a heavy burden, relieved a heavy burden, released a heavy burden, is that what it says? They, they were relieved of a heavy burden. You feel me? Yeah, now they're at work. Listen, yep, I'm trying to tell you, they're no longer, they, they made a decision, two of swords, they've been working on, they've been working on how to, working up, working up. Working up to how they're going to come and talk to you. Because we got the two of swords here. This is in the reverse. They're no longer blocking this connection. They realize that this is the ticket, baby. You make them happy. Okay? They realize this. They realize that you are the one for them. Goldmine jackpot, baby. That's how they see you. You see? Now they're not. Listen, this is all in their head, though. Because they haven't said anything to you yet. This is the shit that they daydream about. This is what they think about is what I'm hearing. What I heard. Yeah, they love, they love the fuck out of you. We could be talking about a Leo. You could be a Leo. You could have Leo heavily aspected in your chart. But this is sunshine energy again. They got some strong... Listen, let me see that tight. They got a strong desire for you. A very strong desire. They daydream about you a lot. Okay? I'm trying to tell you. Look, they're about to make some fastest moving night in the deck. They're about to come towards you, baby. They're about to make a move towards you. They're trying to figure out how to do it, though. They don't know how to do it. You make them nervous. Whoa. Yeah, they don't ever want to walk away from you. They want to celebrate with you. Look how these cards are coming out. They want to celebrate with you. They do. They want to celebrate with you. They don't ever want to walk away from you. Listen, because they, they, they don't, they will always, never going to let you go away. You belong to me. Never going to let you go. That's what I'm telling you. They don't never want to let you go. Or go away from your ass. This motherfucker, this is Capricorn energy. This motherfucker might be a little obsessed, Okay. I'm just saying, there's a lot of cards out here. This person, you are in this person's head a lot. So, now the fact of the matter is this person, I don't know if you've ever had contact with this person before. You could possibly have had contact with this person. Hold on. I'll be right back. All right, thank you for holding. I don't know why I keep saying that because it's not like you was on hold, but I'm just a polite person like that. You feel me? That's how I feel. So, where I left off is that you may not have been communicated with this person. You could have. But whatever it is, either the, either you've communi you communicated to this person and this person gave you the flux like they did not give a fuck. But they was really on the inside. Or maybe they didn't at the time. Maybe they was like, hell no. Nah. Like, not my type, whatever the case is. Or maybe th this, could, this could also be somebody who's a secret admirer. And I say that because there's a note there. This, you know, passing a note through somebody. Maybe, maybe you might. You could possibly be receiving a message from this person through somebody I just heard. A messenger. I got the Love Oracle cards out. The Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards. Let's see what happens here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to close out on this. Okay. This person could really like... Uh, the movie Harlem Nights. Mm -hmm. The character of, of Vera Della Reese, especially. That's what I heard. I mean, who doesn't like that? I mean, some people probably don't, though. But this person really likes Della Reese in that movie. The part where she goes, You shut the fuck up, Benny. <laughs> They really like that part. That's what I just heard. That's what I just saw. Okay. Okay. Can I get an oracle card, please? 
Can I get an Oracle card, please? Or however many. Can I get an Oracle card? Valentine's Day is coming up, though. Okay, well, maybe not. I'll, I'm going to give it one more try. And then I'm going to grab the other Oracle cards. One more. Let's see if I can get it. Nope. That didn't want to come up. Maybe not this deck. This deck may not, may not be what we're looking for. Okay. Damn. Okay, so obviously, well, Soulmates is at the bottom of the deck. Maybe that's why. Okay, this is your Soulmate. Okay, okay. They broke up with somebody to come your way too. Somebody that was a somebody that was an addict. Somebody that wore a mask. Yeah, they broke up with it. They broke up with somebody very toxic to come your way. Well, not to come your way. They could possibly have. I don't know. You know, but they they just recently. I'm hearing that they recently broke up with somebody, or they they were in a relationship with somebody that they broke up with because of an addict. This person had some addictions. I'm not talking. I'm not even making fun of this person. I'm just telling you what the card said. They, this person was a snake. Somebody that didn't really want to commit. They ran out of time. Mm -hmm. This person was a false flame. They lost passion for this person. They realized that this person did not love them. You feel me? This person wore a lot of masks that they were with. That's what I what I heard. And they were a runner. They were codependent and all that all that toxic shit. They they just left something very toxic to be with you. Or maybe they, now that could have been the reason why they, you know, maybe played like they didn't like you because they were in a relationship with somebody. The cat said that's probably what it is too. Okay, Trip. Okay, Dr. Phil. Okay. So who asked your ass? You feel me? Is this person, um, I just... Does this person own a wine company? This person could own a wine company or a brewery or could have some stock in a brewery or a wine company or could, you know, be part owner or something or a bar. Wowzers. So if you were drunk, you wouldn't look. <laughs> I think that energy as it resonates. Okay. Listen, back when I was an alcoholic, let me tell you, well, nothing like dating a bartender. Just saying. Just, let's keep it one. Let's get some closing messages out here. What does spirit want you to know? Alright. You could be seeing the number 444 a lot. You know, people are weird as fuck. Okay? So, somebody, somebody, this could be, listen, I don't understand these people. So, so a third wheel. They've got the th that's enemy distrust, flirtatiousness, sweet dreams. Somebody, somebody in your energy, but one of you two's energy, because this is not this person's energy and this is not your energy. This could be this toxic ex, the third wheel. Somebody who's very, very much of an enemy. Who has dreams, okay, of taking. There's a lot of cards out here that's taking. We got gain in the reverse. We got aid in the reverse. We got savings in the in, in the reverse, okay? This person wants to take something. This person's not your friend to give the alliance, okay? We got uh, endorsement, persuasion, bribe, and temptation. This person could be trying to... To get this person back. This person's trying to get this person back. Not to get this person back because they want to be with this person. They're trying to get this person back because this person wants to come towards you. You feel me? So they're trying everything possible. But this person is not blind. 29, 29 o'clock. This person's not blind. They see. They see what this person is doing. You don't have anything to worry about. Okay? This person just gave this person the axe.
Okay, this per ooh, ooh, I don't mean to laugh. This person is sick. And it's don't gotta be like no physical illness. This could really be a mental illness. Okay. This person got me. This person got some mental health, mental health issues, mental memory, daydream. This person got mental health issues. You feel me? This person is really. This person is really one show death. This person is prop. Listen, this person. This person is fucking crazy. This person got some mental health illnesses. Okay, mental health illnesses. They they date the bad dreams about your ass. You are their worst nightmare. I just heard. First, you go see a therapist. Okay, it's not your fault. It's not your. See, that's the thing I don't understand about uh, the people. You know, when somebody breaks up with somebody, all these things that I that the card said that this person was, they were before you even came in the picture. You don't have anything to do with who this person is, or who they were to this other person. You don't. Matter of fact, you don't have nothing to do with these two motherfuckers. It's this third party that has made you a part of this whole situation. Deflecting, not wanting to be accountable for whatever kind of bullshit they've done. Confirmation. This person is, this person is, is, is um, a, a loose, a, when people, that's a person that's speeding, reckless. They've collaborated with, this person's collaborated with people. Made partnerships with people. They've come into collaboration with piece of people to possibly fuck up this person's job, your job, to make you weak, to make you vulnerable. Perseverance in the reverse, okay? They've done some dark magic on you. Or this person or both y'all. Hell, this person's possessed, okay? It's, but don't worry about it. This person, this person is very evil, demonic. They, they, if they don't quit fucking around, they're going to get into an accident if they already have not You feel me? So don't worry about it. Don't worry about this person. Uh, what, what would I tell you? What, as, a, as a friend, as an uncle, what I would tell you is tell this new person to check their hoes. Or they niggas, bitches, whatever. Okay? Somebody need to hear that shit. Check your hoes, check your bros. Okay? Ain't nobody got time for that shit. We all too grown for this shit. Has anybody ever heard of an OFP? Okay? Or a CNC, a conceal and carry, dead ass, or the or or, or nine one one. You know, sometimes people don't even give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But you have to care about yourself. So be careful. Is what I'm hearing. You're protected though. Stay prayed up. Do your protection rituals. You know, if somebody if somebody's poking at you, you know better. Sticks and stones may break your bones. Oh well, let people say whatever they're gonna say. As a matter of fact, let people do whatever they're going to do as long as, they're, as long as they don't take it too far. But this person has taken things too far from what I'm hearing. Okay? They have. But you got to understand that, they, that, that, that whatever that whatever people do, like I said earlier, just remain humble. If you, if you believe in God, if you believe in, if you believe in the promise that God has over your life and your future, then what you got to understand is that <clears throat> uh, your spirit guides spirit team, your guardian angels, your ancestors, the most high God is going to have your back. Okay? This person, this person is going to be humbled. This, this third party. This person already been humbled. They already see the error in the ways. So we're not even going to focus on the karmic no more. Just be careful. I did, that's what the cards, the cards wanted me to convey that to you. Wanted me to tell you that. So just be careful. You know? This person already knows that what they're coming, who they're coming towards, and why. You are this person's soulmate. This person views you as their happiness. Uh, they feel like they've hit the jackpot. They got a lot of love for you, even though they acted like a like a like an asshole at first. Probably, yeah, they did. You know, at least you know it could have been worse. I mean, you know, people sometimes people have to have to humble themselves to see what's right in front of them. You feel me? That go both ways. So humble yourself if you feel like you want to respond to the bullshit that people got coming your way. Sometimes it just ain't even working. Most times it's not. All right. We're done. I'll be back whenever I get back. You feel me? Life is lifing. And not in a bad way. Just life is lifing. Not just for me, but for a lot of us. But personally, for me, anybody that understands that life is life and how life lives and how things have to change. I, I, I got a message earlier that uh, it's time for a change. 
things have to be switched up and changed up. You know, it takes a lot of humility to do that, to realize where changes have to be made for you to for you to to, to relax. OK, relax, come up out of come up out of your ego and listen to what the most high is telling you. Listen to what the universe is telling you. Spirit guides your spirit teams, the messages, the synchronicities. Definitely. OK. That's what I heard. All right, y'all. I'm your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage. Remember, uh, we're closing out this reading, by the way. Uh, but just remember, uh, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. I love you. I will be back whenever I get back, y'all. This time I mean it, though. So uh, I appreciate the, the fin I just want to tell everybody thank you again. I appreciate the financial contributions made to my channel, my movement. I appreciate the the, 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 the love, the likes, the shares, the comments, the spiritual and spiritual energetic uh, exchanges on this channel. I will be back with some things better for you to better serve the collective, to better help the collective. Because we got to release all this karmic ass energy. A lot of these readings, five, five, five and o'clock. Hey, what am I trying to tell you? That's the, we already know what that means. You're protected and expect the unexpected, but really expect change. Five represents change. So expect a lot of change. Maybe from me, maybe from you. Maybe we can change together, grow together. That's what I always say anyways. But, you know, a lot of the readings that I've done have been, a lot of them have been about justice, getting justice, solving crimes, giving insight. But all that karmic, nasty, negative energy is, is it's a lot. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but I love you. All right? Take care. Till next time. Deuces.